This is Pyongyang, the capital of the Democratic People's Republic of Korea. The Taedong River is flowing through the capital city. The Taedong Basin around Pyongyang was the cradle of humanity and the birthplace of the human culture. More than 5,000 years have passed since Tangun, the ancestral father of the Korean nation, set up the capital here in Pyongyang and built the country. In the long period, Pyongyang has taken a considerable position in the history of the Korean nation and made a progress. From the middle of the 20th century, Pyongyang became the capital of the Democratic People's Republic of Korea. In all parts of the city, you can see historic relics and monuments telling the new history of the capital Pyongyang. This is Mangyongde, which is called Sir, because one can see all views at a glance there. Preserved there as it is, the old home of the great leader Kim Il-sung, the founder of the Democratic People's Republic of Korea, who is recognized by the world as the greatest of great men of the 20th century. When Korea was groaning under the colonial rule of the Japanese imperialists, Kim Il-sung rose up as the son of the nation and accomplished the historic cause of national liberation. This straw-thatched house with low eaves tells about his childhood and about his family members. The Arch of Triumph is a monument set up in praise of the achievements of the great leader Kim Il-sung who waged a 20-year-long anti-Japanese revolutionary struggle and achieved national liberation. The Tower of the Juche Idea tells the undying revolutionary exploits of the great leader Kim Il-sung who created the immortal Juche Idea. Around the tower are sculptural groups showing the vitality of the Juche idea and the fountain park. The new history of Korea written along with the Juche idea has been inscribed on the monuments in Pyongyang. The modern history of Korea is unthinkable, apart from the great leaders Kim Il-sung and Kim Jong-il. That is why the Korean people are holding them as the eternal leaders. This is Mansu Hill in the heart of the capital. It is located in the best place, which is open enough in all directions to command a bird's eye view of Pyongyang city. The bronze statues of the great leaders Kim Il-sung and Kim Jong-il are standing there. This is the Kumsusan Palace of the Sun, where Kim Il-sung and Kim Jong-il, the eternal leaders of the Korean people, are laid in state. Seen in all parts of the palace is the boundless respect for the great men, who regarded the people as their god all their lives and devoted themselves to their happiness. This is the Kim Il-sung Square. Important events are grandly held in the square on the occasion of national holidays and anniversaries. All roads of the country run from the square. Around the square are government buildings and cultural institutions. This is the Mansude Assembly Hall. Here, deputies of worker, peasant, and intellectual origin adopt laws and policies reflecting the demand and will of the people. 
In recent years, Pyongyang has been greeting a new heyday. This is Ryomyung Street, which was built into a street of green architecture in less than one year. A 70-story apartment house is the highest of the buildings in the street. This street with skyscraping and multi-story apartment houses in harmony has enterprises, different kinds of service establishments, schools, nurseries and kindergartens. In Korea, the state builds dwelling houses and provides them to the working people free of charge. Dwellers in these modern streets are ordinary people, including educators, scientists, and office workers. These are the Pyongyang baby home and orphanage on the bank of the picturesque river Taedong. Silvery laughter of children without any worry is heard here and there. Old people are enjoying a happy life at the new old people's home. The specialized hospitals in the Munsu area of Pyongyang make a contribution to the improvement of the people's health. These hospitals play an important role in ensuring free medical service to people and in boosting the quality and level of the medical services onto a new high stage. The ardent desire of the Korean people to make a leap forward by dint of science and guarantee the future by dint of education is changing Pyongyang into a more wonderful center of science and education. This is the Mangyongde School Children's Palace. After school, school children come here to conduct extracurricular activities according to their aptitude and talents. This is the SciTech complex on the Suk Islet on the river Taedo. It is a great edifice for all people's study and the center for disseminating the latest science and technology. Kim Il-sung University, the highest institute of science and education, and many other universities and colleges in Pyongyang have been wonderfully built in line with the demand of the new century to train talented personnel to shoulder science and technology of the country. Modern scientific research institutions are working hard to push back the frontiers of science and technology. In many parts of Pyongyang, there are gymnasiums and stadiums which can hold any international games. This is the May Day Stadium with 150,000 seats. It was the venue of the Grand Mass Gymnastics and Artistic Performance Arirang, Kim Il-sung Prize winner, registered in the World Guinness Records, and the Grand Mass Gymnastics and Artistic Performance, The Glorious Country, which was given on the occasion of the 70th founding anniversary of the Democratic People's Republic of Korea. Today, Pyongyang has become the center of Korea, aspiring after an economic giant. 
The electric car running on the ground was produced by the Kim Jong Tae Electric Locomotive Complex in Pyongyang. The trolley buses and tram cars running along the streets of the capital city represent the passion of the Pyongyangites, creating wealth with their own hands. People spend a pleasant time aboard the floating restaurant Daedonggang and the general service ship Mujige, a product of the resourcefulness and talents of the Pyongyangites. These days, light industrial factories in Pyongyang are producing good quality goods. The Daedonggang beer winning a great popularity in the international market is also produced in Pyongyang. This is the Daedonggang combined fruit farm with red apples hanging in clusters. A modern fruit processing factory is producing all sorts of drinks, fruit perfume and other cosmetics. The poultry farms, stock breeding bases, fish farms and vegetable farms provide the citizens with rich tables. The national wrestling games, national clothes exhibitions and national food shows, which are held in Pyongyang today, serve as an important occasion in preserving and developing the national heritages created by the Korean nation for many years. This is the Moran Bung Theatre, boasting of its long history. The National Symphony Orchestra of Korea, well known worldwide as well, gives performance in the theatre. This is the People's Theatre in the heart of the capital city. The bands loved by people and the authoritative art organizations of world standard stress the lively breath of Pyongyang. This is the Nungna Alit called the flower basket on the water. The Nungna people's pleasure ground on the Alit is always crowded with people. This is the Nungna Dolphinarium. Dolphins from the ocean have got familiar with the Pyongyang citizens here in the Nungna Alit. This is the Munsu Water Park, which is called by citizens as a palace of water. The Munsu Water Park consists of outdoor wading pools and Eldorado style indoor wading pools. The medium riding club attracts the attention of people who want to ride a horse. The medium air club leads people to the sky. In Pyongyang, called the city in park, tens of parks have been built, making the city a large park. The Natural History Museum and the Central Zoo at the foot of the scenic Mount Daesong give people a deep knowledge of great nature. The food culture of Pyongyang is also colorful and sweet. This is the only restaurant well known for the Pyongyang cold noodle. This restaurant is facelifting itself day by day in conformity with the increasing popularity. This is the Pyongyang Taedonggang Fish Restaurant.
Tigris' traditional and modern foods satisfy the people. Of the Pyongyang International Airport, which has been built to suit the unique characteristics and modern aesthetic sense of the Korean nation and the international standard, promotes the convenience of the travelers. The night view of Pyongyang gets more beautiful. In the evening, the capital citizens enjoy themselves, sightseeing the river Taedong. Parks and pleasure grounds are crowded with people. In Pyongyang, all creations are built for the people, and their ideas come true. The Korean people picture a brighter future to themselves, feeling the benefits of the Workers' Party of Korea and the state in prospering Pyongyang. <laughs> 